Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to day three. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I've had a few too many coffees already. Anyway, episode three of the Caddy project. Still quite hazy, so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna have to do the boot and finish off the entire driver's side and the roof and then we're gonna move on to the coating packages and the interior detailing so stay tuned Hi guys, so we have finished cutting the caddy, now onto the refining stages. Now before we st start this on camera, I would just like to point out a few things to you. Um, so we've spent three days now cutting this and a lot of people might say it's a little bit excessive. However, I've learned from previous experience that if you spend the 99.9% effort of cutting this the finishing polish on a on a vehicle this big i mean i can personally on my own whip around this in about two hours if not less this is because we have left pretty much no marks apart from this little area where we use the manzerna 300 it is a bit of a hazy compound yes it is needed there however with uh, i'm just trying to find with the car pro clear cut so this, if you work this how you should work it, it actually almost leaves a show finish. However, we still go around the car and just if there's any nicks or little haze and marks, which is very, very rare, um, that eliminate that now. So the van, just to show you, I mean, and this is under the lights. I know there's a little bit of dust. Just avoid the dust, that's the compounding dust. But if you look into this light, there is nothing. Now we're gonna obviously redo that anyway. Now what I wanted to show you is, just one second. What I wanted to show you is, so seeing that as this is a brand new van, I don't know if the camera will pick this up. Most likely not. That's a little bit of haze again. But, I don't know if you can see, 
but the people who have took this off to paint it in a in the body color they've literally used the screwdriver okay so I don't know if you this is the hairs where I've, I've had to go really aggressive on it but all the way from here to that it's the same on that side and on the passenger side they have left the screwdriver mark now the pain level isn't that deep uh, isn't that big so what me and Kelly have done is we have reduced the scratch as much as we can however we try to preserve the paintwork at the same time so there's still a little thin scratch on, on, on both sails that is obviously not our fault the fact that the reading on this van from new was about 90 microns which is not a lot for a brand new vehicle we are preserving the paint just in case we need to polish it later on in its life so I could hammer this right now and get the scratch out but I'll have no pain left so if there's any further damage further down the line five six years down the line either myself or the next owner will not get the opportunity to repolish it so I just wanted to point that out to you guys that it's not all about hitting the paint as hard as you can dropping all your bags on the floor going come on let's go let's hammer this paint because you've got to think the longevity of the paint because there are issues if you go very low into the lacquer or the clear of the UV inhibitors that are in there anyway just wanted to show you guys what I mean by that now we are going to be refining this so I've got my all-time favorite Menzerna 3800 or the Menzerna 3500 very similar products same end result so cup of coffee waiting for me as well so we're going to be teaming this up on the smaller panels with the Rupes mini Rupes yellow finishing pad and some pearl paint which again into the lights there's absolutely nothing too refined but just to be safe we're going to do it anyway so I'm going to set this up and show you guys how it's done. Again, as I've always said, four little dots. I normally work a larger panel. It's, it's, quite, an oily, it's quite an oily substance, so I move quick again, low pre uh, high pressure. Few, uh, a few more passes than usual in a linear fashion and I move really quick hence why I whip around a vehicle of this size in a few hours so
go up. That's how you will find. That's how we, you will find a panel after a very good put. Minimal as required. As you can see the results. Um, it's it's fantastic. So I'm going to use the same combination all around the van, and we will come back to you in episode four. After obviously I will be around the van doing this for the cotton package.